Before we start the tutorial, there's two settings that you'll want to change to be able to view this a little bit better. First thing you want to do is click on this little settings bar and change the quality to 720. And then the next thing you'll want to do is click on this button right here to make the video come up full screen. This tutorial will focus on using the report builder to analyze student demographic and standardized testing data and we'll be working on questions two through six on the student achievement data worksheet. The first item is to write down the name of two students who scored far below or below basic on the 2012 CST for English language arts. And from the EDEMS homepage, you have a couple different options to get this information. This bar up here has, is the main navigation bar, and you can hover your mouse over this, so that just means to move the mouse over here, and before you click on anything, take a look at all the options available. This information is available in the special reports suite, but we'll be using the group reports and report builder to uh, find exactly what we're looking for here. So I'm going to hover over reports, group reports, and then click on report builder. And this is the screen that I'm going to use to select this, the group of students that I want to look at. You can um, notice here that you have a bunch of different options. If I wanted to look at students that I had last year to see how they did on the CST, um, I could change this back to the spring of 2012. For this assignment, we'll be using Ms. Woodard's um, class, and the worksheet is asking us to identify students in first period. And you'll notice up here, these are the students that we're looking at, and her student count updated right here. So once I choose the students that I'm looking at, we'll click on Next. And this screen is asking for the test information. So there's a lot of assessments in EDONS. We have state testing data, um, teacher created quizzes, district benchmark assessments, a lot of information in the system. So we have to drill down to find exactly what we're looking for. In this example, we're looking for CST data from spring of 2012. So we have to change the test administered during school year to the 2011-12 year. And I'm going to use the category of star tests. And we're interested in English language arts for right now. And we also need to, some of the questions, questions three and four ask us for strand information. So we need to click this button right here. And now we have the strand information available. I'm going to go and click. all of these and then scroll down and hit generate report okay and at this point you see some pretty basic information on when you do this in your own account you'll see the student names and IDs here for these tutorials the students names are anonymized um, but yours will look pretty similar just with the kids names here and you can see we have the scaled score all the different proficiency levels and it's pretty easy to spot out the students that scored far below or below basic right here if you were doing this for your entire class there are some advanced features that I'm going to show you right now and that's what we want to use so if you click on this show advanced button right here gives you the option to include different um, enrollment information so I'm going to choose the grade and then the demographics tab allows you to include a, a lot more information in your report so we are going to look at our student EL status we might want to know their last known uh, CELT level. We could include the counselor's name, if the student was on an IEP or not, and then we'll hit apply. And for question number two, it is asking us to identify students that scored far below or below basic. And <clears throat> once again, if you're only dealing with, with one class, it would be pretty easy to spot this out but if you go up here to the advanced tab and click on the sort button it allows us to sort this information a bunch of different ways so I'm gonna click 
on this arrow right here and we want to sort this by the CST scaled score. SS stands for scaled score so I'm going to click on that and ascending would keep the low scores right at the top of the report descending would put the high scores at the top so I'm going to go ahead and change it to descending and then hit apply and as I scroll down I see it's really easy to identify students who uh, struggled on this particular CST. Okay, so now that you've identified your two students who scored either far below or below basic, the next question is asking us to identify the two strands that the entire class struggled with. So you'll notice here that we have the scaled score and the performance level, and then up here at the top we have the different strands for English language arts. And down here at the bottom, you'll see a bunch of different totals. So you would use the mean score for this particular assignment. And we can see that the students in this class struggled the most with word analysis and vocabulary, and also writing strategies. So I would simply write in word analysis and writing strategies. Now it's question four is asking us to identify the strands which our English learners struggled the most with. And to get that information, you would once again, if you haven't done so already, click on the demographics tab, click on EL status, and then apply. And by default, it's just including all the kids together. So we want to separate out the English learners and see what strands they struggled on. So we'll go up here to the advanced option bar, click on disaggregate, and then we can separate this data out by a different bunch of different factors. EL status would be under language fluency, so we'll click on that and then apply. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that these would be the English only students. These would be students that are initially fluent English proficient. And we finally get to our English learners. And you can see the same type of information. Our English learners in this class struggled the most with reading comprehension and word analysis and vocabulary. OK, so moving right along, question five says to use the sort button to identify the student out of the entire class with the highest skilled score. So we're going to go up here to our advanced bar and click on sort. And we need to get rid of the disaggregate here. So we'll click on this and change that to none. Apply. And then now we can go to the sort. And we already have it in here. It's sorting it by skilled score. Top scores are at the top. And you can see right here, this would be the student with the highest score of a 432. OK, so for question number six, it's asking us to identify students who are in that low basic band between 300 and 324. And an easy way to do that, we have this sorted already. Um, so we could go down and look at the scores over here. But an easier way to do that would be to use the disaggregate feature. And if we'll click on this. We want to disaggregate it now. Oops, we'll actually be using the range restriction feature. So I'll click on that. And you can see the different options here. If we wanted to identify kids who scored in a certain range on the strands, we could do that. Um, but this is asking us to identify students within the 300 and 324 range. So we're going to change this to score type. By default, it sorts it by the raw score. And we want to change it to the scaled score with a minimum score of 300 and a maximum score of 324. Then we hit apply. And now you have all the students in the class who scored within that range. 